Howdy everyone, Nimby here. Today we'll be tying the Beetlebug Coachman. The fly was originally tied by Audrey Joy from Portland. The fly is tied from size 10 to size 14 on a light dry fly hook. We're going to start off with a size 12 standard hook and secure it in the vise. And we'll tie in our ADOT uni thread in black. You can also use a burgundy or a dark brown if you prefer. The Beetlebug Coachman is popular with Oregon stream anglers as a high riding pattern for streams and rivers. Tail will trim off a brown section of bucktail and then remove it from our hair stacker. The tail should be fairly substantial, about half the width of the gap and the length of the shank. Then tie the tail in at about the two third mark just on your thread base and tie it back to the bend of the shank. Next we'll tie in the wings, which is calf tail, white by hairline. Calf tail can be a real love-hate material. When selecting fibers on the calf tail, try to pick ones that are as straight as possible in an area where it's not as bent. Uh, you can also use a hair straightener and straighten the calf tail before cutting it off. As hard as calf tail can be to work with, it's really rewarding once you finally get it in place. It looks better than any other options. Yeah, this is a good time to work down your tag ends and try and smooth up the body a bit uh, for the floss so it'll lay nice and smooth. And the wings should be upright and divided. You can take your time here pulling the fibers back with your fingers and tying in wraps at front will help it stand up straight and then you can start with Unless you get exceedingly lucky, you're going to have a lot of stragglers. Those can be cleared up with some scissors or with tweezers. Or you can also use a lighter and just burn off the excess. If you're going to use a lighter though, make sure to tie off a half hitch and protect your thread. Once she's cleaned up, you can start with figure eight wraps to separate the wing at the top. You're going to separate into two even sides, left and right. Start by working your thread gently through the middle and just coaxing it down and then continuing those wraps along that plane. As you work each side, moving it forward and back and working your thread around, try your best not to catch as many fibers as you, or as little fibers as you can manage. And once they're positioned upright where you want them, uh, just continue the figure eight wraps and that will lock them in to their desired top position. and kill the stragglers with fire. And for the body material, I'll be using a single strand of a four strand red acrylic yarn. You're welcome to use any type of red floss you have. I like this as it builds the body up quickly. If you're gonna use a traditional floss, just make sure to even the body out uh, before tying in the body material. It'll make the body a lot more smoother. And we'll just attach the yarn into our material clip and I'll do a couple half hitches here as a save point. Now, this is my first time using this new rotary vise. It's a Dyna King Barracuda. I'm still getting used to the new full rotary vise, but it sure makes wrapping bodies like this really easy and enjoyable. I'm keeping the floss wrapped up here. You're welcome to lay it flat if you wish to have a flat body. I do like the slightly segmented look that wrapping the floss uh, gives you at the end here. I want the body wraps to be fairly tight against the wings and I can flatten out the floss or yarn in this case and get it around the black thread just by flattening it out a bit here. 
Not only does it hide the black thread wraps, it'll give us a nice even base to tie the hackle in on. Couple wraps in front, one over top, and a couple wraps again in front should secure it in. And one more for good measure. We'll start building the head just to cover our tag ends here. And for the hackle, we'll use a general generic red rooster cape. And just trim the barbs from the first part or your tie-in point. This will give you a little bit easier wrapping. And you can use your nail or the side of your scissors or bobkin to just kind of crush the stem. And throw in a quick save point. start wrapping the hackle from underneath to the back side of the wings get two wraps on the back side of the rings and the rest up front and just pinch and pull back the wings this will help you not trap as many fibers as you're getting the front end And just wrap and tie off the hackle tip. I'm gonna get two wraps here because I didn't quite get it the first time as well as I like. There we go. I'm just going to use the hackle pliers here to hold that out of the way, make it a little easier to clip. And a quick whip finish here. It's really hard to do the whip finish without bumping the camera. <laughs> If you're enjoying the fly tying videos, please subscribe and drop a comment down below. I'd like to hear what you guys would like to see. And a couple dabs of head cement to soak into the thread. Just try to make sure not to get it on your wings and hackle. And there we have a beetle bug coachman, a popular Portland, Oregon, West Coast fly for streams and rivers. All originally tied by Audrey Joy. <laughs>